you will turn heads. I can't tell you how many compliments I've got with super milk in my hair. Hi, my name is Demi. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell to get notified of when I upload new content. But in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you all the empties that I have collected. Everything is in this orange bag right here. And honestly, I'm almost proud of myself for going through this product, but almost also ashamed of myself for having this much product. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so you may hear my neighbors rolling out their trash because it is trash day. So that's how I was like, let me go ahead and film this. That way I can go ahead and pull all of these in the recycle bin. So there's no particular order that I'm about to show these things. It's really just like what I've been through and I've been collecting it and putting it to the side because I wanted to do a thorough review of what are hits, what are misses, what I will repurchase, what I won't repurchase. Um, that is the purpose of this video to kind of share my personal experiences with these products. So we're going to go through this. The first thing I have here is the Golly Ashwagandha Gummies. Nothing in here. I ended up getting this from TJ Maxx for $11.99. And actually, I really liked it. They don't taste bad. The only thing with this is I feel like with any vitamins, you have to use it for a while before you actually see any type of like difference in whatever you're doing. So I kept seeing these all over TJ Maxx. I'm not sure if this is a discontinued product. If you know, definitely comment if you've been seeing them. But I would see them in TJ Maxx. As a matter of fact, Target, Kroger, a lot of them have marked it down to almost like $12.99 or $14.99. And now I haven't had a chance to even see it in store. Like I've looked and I have not seen it. I uh, definitely haven't seen it in any TJ Maxx or Marshall. So I'm not exactly sure what happened with this product. I did like it. It did not taste too bad. That's one thing about sometimes like vitamins, especially gummies, they kind of have a weird aftertaste. It didn't have that. So I would repurchase this if I could find it. So this was a hit for me. Next one is the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I might be biased, but I prefer this over the boom boom cream the boom boom cream would be the second preferred scent but this is also empty i love this when i tell y'all i feel like this lasts a lot longer than the boom boom cream um i when i wear this i get so many compliments like it just lasts throughout the day literally from start to finish you can smell it on yourself i want to say i also put this in my current favorite so far and this is probably going to be something that's always in my rotation i already brought a i already bought a backup one so i am this is definitely a hit for me like sol de janeiro i just love everything that they make but this right here it's something about the notes in this and let's see if i can still smell it it just smells so like fresh clean it's just i don't it's like a good all-around scent i feel like the boom boom cream can somewhat be an all-around scent but i feel like the girlies really wear that during the summertime but this is a 1000 percent a hit and i already have another backup bottle or backup tub like I mentioned. So would definitely purchase this again and again and again. Okay, this is kind of random, but for all my girls that just, you know, the vision is not visioning and you have trouble with actually like seeing you wear contact glasses, whatever. So I put this in here, one, because it was like in my recycle. I have this little like recycle bin in my bathroom and so i just went ahead and threw this in there because one i was already done with it there's nothing in here but it's just the equate multi-purpose solution i get this from walmart and to be completely honest and please if you are somebody that works you know maybe at an eye doctor or like an office or optometry i believe is the correct medical term for it and you swear by oxyfresh or all the brand names like Contact solution is so expensive that I just buy the twin pack and been doing this for years. I've been wearing contacts since I was like 12. And so this is an OD, but a goodie and have purchased this multiple times. So I really just put this in here because I feel like people don't talk about like eye care or eyewear. I care, including like contacts that much. So this right here will purchase and repurchase. It's a hit for me. I actually got as a gift. I, if you watch a few of my videos by now, I do a few different reviews on just like scents and things that I've been trying. I'm a gourmand girl to the T. This rose jam, I got as a gift. Um, I think it was in a gift set and it is the rose jam shower gel from Lush. Of course, nothing in here. It says that it has rose, vanilla, and argan oil. I don't like rose scents, so this was not a hit for me. I would not purchase this or repurchase this personally because I don't like rose. So I literally just finished this and then put it to the side, but would not repurchase this. 
And then if you did not know Lush with the pots, you can either save up five of your pots and you can get a free fresh face mask or you can get a dollar off per pot. They don't do it for the um, bottles. So that's the only downside of this. So that's the reason why I didn't take it back to the store because they're not going to take it. So I'll just put this in the recycle bin, but this is a miss for me and I would not repurchase. This is like something that everybody uses at this point. If you don't use this, I don't know what to tell you. So it's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. This is the second Berry one that I've had. I've probably gone through like four or five of these. This is 1000% another hit. I would repurchase this. However, if you're looking for a dupe, I would say the e.l.f. Lip Mask is just as comparable. It's only $7.00. And honestly, if I had to really be truthful, that one I actually really, really like. Like almost maybe like this much more than this. The only thing is you don't get as much product. So I do feel like with this one, it is a little bit pricier, but you are getting your return on investment, like I like to say, because one tub can literally last you a really, really long time. Also too, TJ Maxx typically has these. And I want to say they're $12.99. The real T is, or no, they're $15.99. $15.99 or $16.99. They used to be $12.99 before inflation hit and the price went up on these. So also check out TJ Maxx. Um, if you do get it from Sephora, you know, and you're just shopping, then pick it up. But if you're looking for some money off, definitely check out TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I know people feel how they feel about purchasing items, especially like makeup from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I purchased and never had any problem with it. If you did, let me know. But you can find this TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I would repurchase. I've tried the mint chocolate chip, the apple lime, the berry, and I have the minis, but the berry is one of my favorites. And honestly, I'll use really any of them. I don't really have a preference because they all do the same thing, but this is heavy in my night routine, 1000%, like I said, hit and would repurchase. Here is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor, Invisible Moisturizer, and it has SPF 30. This you can buy um, as, a, this is also comes in the refill. This is the refill and you pretty much just put it into the container and then snap it down. I love this. I personally like Fenty Skin. I know some people feel how they feel about it because of the fragrance. However, I feel like this has really worked well for me. I This is my second one and I've purchased this twice over the past two years, I wanna say, and it lasts a really long time. The only reason why I haven't bought an extra one just yet is because I have, I, right now I'm using the e.l.f. moisturizer and then the bubble moisturizer, the one that you pump. So when I run out of that, then I may repurchase this. Ignore the outside noise, somebody is mowing their lawn, but hopefully you all can still hear me over that. But this, I would repurchase. I don't have a backup right now, but I definitely would repurchase. I like the fact that it's a two for one, it moisturizes, it has SPF. However, I still would recommend putting SPF on over this just because I'm not sure how much it's diluted into the product with it being mixed with moisturizer. Uh, but I like this and I would repurchase, not right now, just because I'm trying to go through the rest of the moisturizers I have, but I would repurchase this so this was a hit for me. I was also a gift. Uh, this is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I really, really like this. And my friend that gave this to me actually told me to try the other one. I think it's like brow glue or something like that by NYX but I would repurchase this I like the way that it set on the eyebrow it wasn't too thick to where it almost is like literally you're putting gel on your eyebrows it was just enough product um, and I really like the way it made my eyebrows look so I would definitely repurchase this I haven't just yet because I've been using the ABH potted one um the one where you have like feathered brows I've been using that so just trying to get rid of product and go through the product that I currently have but I do like this it's definitely a hit for me and I would repurchase Speaking of Sol de Janeiro, this right here is a shower cream gel, Brazilian foreplay, the Boom Boom cream or the Boom Boom scent. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Sol de Janeiro. I would purchase and repurchase all their product. I know it is pricey, but honestly, it's just this like luxury self-care feeling when you put this on your skin and any of their scents on your skin. So I would repurchase this. I do have it in the travel size as well. Um, like I said, it's pricey, but it's worth the money to me. So I would definitely say this is a hit and I would repurchase. With that said, we love dupes. And so this came out around May. This is the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. Um, I feel like it doesn't smell exactly like, but the notes are comparable. So I would say that if you could, or if you did get your hands on this, then you might feel like this is a dupe. I still, no matter what, I don't care how many people try to do between like Tree Hut, Trader Joe's, which I love all of those scents. Like this is always going to be the OG scent and this is always going to be the better scent to me personally. But this one is a good one. I finished this one up. It didn't take me too long. 
Um, it is a thicker one. I can't say that the texture of this is a lot thicker than the Boom Boom Cream. The Boom Boom Cream I feel is a little bit more whipped, but this one is thicker. It is very moisturizing. This is probably my third tub that I've used. So just a heads up, mark this on your calendar when summertime comes around because they do sell out. This year they had a body butter, a body scrub, a body wash, which was new and a candle, which was new. I did end up getting the whole line, um, but this is what I've used so far. The scrub I got last year, I do like it. I prefer the Tree Hut scrubs, but I do like that. The candle smells phenomenal. I like the way that it burns. It has a really good throw. And then the body wash I'm currently using right now, and I do like it. It's not very like foamy, but it definitely does get the job done. So this is a hit for me, and I would repurchase if you can find it. This is kind of like a two-for-one. And first and foremost, don't laugh at the way this bottle looks. One thing about me is like when I tell y'all I use all my product, I literally have like a box cutter and scissor in my bathroom because I cut up the bottles and scrape everything out because honestly you pay for these things. So like you might as well. So my favorite drugstore shampoo is the Native Hair. Um, this is a cucumber mint. It's a volumizing one, but I just like the way it smells. It smells super fresh. And so I ended up finishing these close to the same time. I went through the shampoo before I went through the conditioner. So I would definitely recommend these if you're looking for a drugstore shampoo and conditioner that's good. You could also download the Yuka app, especially if you're somebody that looks for more um, clean or like sulfate, paraben type, free type of products because these scored really high. This particular scent, I'm not sure about the other scents, but these scored, I want to say like 80 or 90. They scored really good. So I would recommend this. This is like my second time purchasing this, which I need to re-up. But um, I, this is a hit for me and I would definitely repurchase and recommend this. Speaking of Fenty Skin, this is the Total Cleanser Remove It All. So this is supposed to be like a two-in-one as well where it's a face wash as well as a makeup remover. I can say it does remove makeup really well. It is thick so I feel a little definitely goes a long way which is why this battle, bottle lasted me for so long. I will be honest, I liked it and I feel like it it really did do the job. However, I don't think I would repurchase this. I'll say that this is definitely more fragrance than other face washes. So, and it is a little bit pricier. So if I had to choose between her entire line, I would probably prefer the moisturizer. I haven't tried the scrubs just yet, but I don't think I would repurchase this one because of the fragrance in it. Two, I do feel like it took makeup off, but it's something about it. it wasn't really like foamy, if that makes sense. And so it did the job, but you know, and that's another thing too, is like, I literally was like squeezing the heck out of this thing because it's a twist up. Um, so I don't really care for the packaging too much, but I wouldn't repurchase this. This is somewhat a miss for me, but if it worked for you, definitely let me know. Finding this at TJ Maxx, my sister actually recommended and when she told me about it, I went to go look and I couldn't find it. And then like a couple weeks later, I found it. And this lasted a really long time, but it is the Rail Rail Himalayan Pink Salt Toothpaste Sweet Herbal Mint. I really, really like this. First of all, Too Faced and a Pump, Game Changer. Like, it was just so easy to dispense. However, I can't find it. Maybe I need to check Amazon, but last time I checked, Amazon didn't have this. So I don't know if this is like a discontinued product. And TJ Maxx and Marshalls, nowhere to be found anymore. So I really did like this. This was definitely a hit for me. However, with the way the stock is, I don't think I'll be able to find it. And this was $7.99, so I feel like that was definitely worth it. It's also fluoride-free, SLS-free. And honestly, the packaging is super cute. Can we get into the shades of pink? So this was a hit, but I can't find it. So that's that. Next, I have the Way Scalp and Body Scrub in Melrose Place. Once again, not a huge fan of the rose scent. However, this one definitely does smell like rose. Um, and I, the reason I say this is because the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose doesn't really smell too much like rose to me. It smells more clean than it does rose, like that fresh linen scent. Uh, so with this one, I like it. I will tell you this. The Tree Hut one is a little bit more gritty. So like if you're looking for that like deep exfoliation, I would definitely recommend the Tree Hut one over this. However, this one gives you very much soft girl life, luxury feel, but you will go through a tub really quickly. Like I honestly probably get like three scoops of this in one shower setting. Um, so that's the only downside of this. However, if you're looking to elevate your shower routine, I do like this one. And the real tea about this is I got this at Ulta when they were doing, I want to say like their 21 Days of Beauty. It was 50% um, off. So that is another thing. This is like $38, $39. Uh, it's definitely a lot more pricey than the Tree Hut one. Like I said, if you're looking for an elevated shower routine, this is the one. But 
the real tea is to get this when Ulta does the 50% off and just use other body washes unless you're somebody that wants to invest a little bit more into you know your shower routine I do like it first of all the aesthetic we just love a frosted container with the white top and the minimal black letter letters so I do like this it is a hit for me I would repurchase I will also say this the I can't remember the name of it it's like really slipping mine right now but the one that's a little bit more tropical scented the coconut it literally smells like you're on a beach um that one I do prefer that scent but this one will do just as great so I would recommend it is a hit for me here is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus. It says that it has heavenly volume. So let me go ahead and tell you all, like with dry shampoo, I'm actually not a huge fan of dry shampoo. However, when you go to the gym and you don't have those like really hard workout days or even when you're get going and getting walks in, I don't wash my hair every day. I might wash it every other day, but like I'm not somebody that uses this until like six, seven days because I just don't want to wash my hair. I have zero problem washing my hair. It's just like this is good to re like freshen up your hair so it'll take the oils out. It'll just like, especially if you're somebody that gets your hair done and you put a lot of product into your hair. I find that when I put a lot of product into my hair, it actually gets a lot oily quicker. And so that's when I'll use this to make the style last at least like an extra day. So I'm not a huge fan of dry shampoo. However, I will also say that the Sol de Janeiro aerosol dry shampoo one they no longer have so if you look online on like mercari or poshmark the resale value is actually kind of insane and crazy but i did hear based on what i did i ended up dming them asking them if they would be bringing it back because it looked like it was discontinued or they were reformulating i'm not exactly sure what happened but um whoever was talking to me the social media person said that they're looking for a new formula and to not put it into an aerosol form so maybe they're looking to do like a powder form which i know lush has a dry shampoo powder form um so the thing is that is my favorite and when i tell y'all that makes your hair smell divine like so good and oh my gosh it's like the best scent in your hair but of course that's no longer around so you have to find backup options and this one I would not repurchase this is a miss for me i was just trying to get through it and finish it but it is a miss and one thing that i find with these is of course like you have to really brush out your hair to get that like white stuff out of it the igk one i believe is the name of that brand um i'll try to link it in the description box i actually really like that one especially if you have darker hair it doesn't really leave that white residue so um i would say this is a miss i would not repurchase but also too i ended up getting this on sale so so I talked about this on my channel. I actually did some reviews with them, uh, perfumes, and I love these. This is the Dossier Floral Marshmallow and Ambery Saffron. These are the two scents that I have right here. As you can tell, they are completely empty. I love these. One is supposed to be compared to Killian Love Don't Be Shy. The other one is supposed to be compared to Baccarat. I really like the way these smell. The Love Don't Be Shy, I will say for me, I think lasts longer on my skin. Um, but really, really love these. I would recommend purchasing these again and again and again. And I feel like, honestly, I have so many like beauty products and skincare. I want to do kind of like a tour, maybe not, let me not call it a tour, but just like going through my stash of stuff. And also too, especially that the holidays are coming up, like telling you all when's the best time to make these purchases, because that's another thing too, during Black Friday sales or Cyber Monday sales, like these are actually the best time to get these products. And so with Dossier, like I really do enjoy these perfumes. I love them. And honestly, it's their whole thing is like pretty much creating luxury perfumes at uh, the no markup cost. And so they're still really great quality, high quality to me. They smell really good. So I finished these. Next thing I have is the Tula Skincare Superfoods Take Care and Indulge Exfoliator. This is the banana pudding. It was actually a full size, but once again, your girl cuts things to make things work and last and get the rest of the product. This, I'm going to go ahead and call it what it is and keep it 100 with y'all, a miss. And the reason why I was a miss is because the opening notes of this, I'm a gourmand girl. I love sweet things. If it's dessert, it's me. But this right here, it started out good and then it had this really like weird after smell. It was, it almost smelled like something that was just old, like an old banana pudding i don't know how to describe it like it really smelled good when it first when it, i first started using it and then after that it just like once you apply it it just smells terrible this is a miss it was very pricey too so i would not repurchase this however the original one the blue one actually does smell really good my nail tech uses that on me um after our sets to exfoliate so that one i would recommend that one is more sweet it smells like strawberry or like some type of berry like starburst but this right here miss would not recommend 
me is to know I love supporting small businesses and I love supporting locals. So as much as I like to, you know, definitely support larger brands and you know as far as also to it being like trendy i do like that but i also really really love supporting local so i do purchase like from local um like soap makers and just local shops and so this is from stay down to earth this is fairy floss so it's comparable i want to say to snow fairy uh the biggest difference is this has peppermint and lemongrass and so the notes here are a lot stronger but this is completely gone this was my favorite thing to use at night, especially like especially after you take like a nice cool shower and then spray this because of the peppermint essential oil that's in it. It just had this like cooling feeling on your skin. So I would definitely repurchase this. This was definitely a hit. However, I believe um, she just converted her shop over to only uh, like a per to only perfumes and body sprays. And so it is in stock. But before this was only a seasonal item. But I really, really like this. You should definitely check. Her website out is stay down to earth she's local so one thing that i will always encourage on my channel is to support small no matter how many times you see me with these like bigger products and brands support local is something and local businesses is something that i will always do and this one i decided to go ahead it's pretty much gone at this point but honorable mention before like three more sprays and this will be done super milk conditioning hair primer by lush first of all this stuff smells so good i get so many compliments on this when i spray it in my hair like when you walk by people you will literally like people you will turn heads with this like for real for real because the way it smells like i don't know what exactly the end notes are but this just smells like like gingerbread sweetness like just so good it's uh almond coconut and oat milk but i want to say it, it just reminds me of like a, especially like fall winter time with the holidays coming up this right here just smells so good so when you spray this in your hair one it makes it will literally last in your hair for like a couple days but two you will turn heads i can't tell you how many compliments i've got with super milk in my hair this is by lush it is a little bit pricey i want to say that this size is 13 dollars. but when i tell y'all 1000 percent it hit you will not regret if you're looking just to up your hair routine and just need something especially because i feel like a lot of times with shampoos and conditioners like you'll smell it right when you get out of the shower and then it just wears off in your hair but this right here after you're done washing your hair smells so good so i would definitely recommend this as well this is definitely hit that's everything that i have thank you so much for watching if any of these products have worked for you definitely let me know if there's any products that you think that i should try let me know that as well and if any of these did miss for you you know maybe we have something in common but I just wanted to go ahead and show you all my empties. And as I keep going through the rest of my products, I'm going to keep putting them in my little recycle bin. And then we will film another video, empties video to come back. But once again, my name is Demi. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new content. I'll see you all next time.